Hello friends, welcome to the part 6 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will create our new method to post or create a new to-do. So, I already have my ID open here and my dev server running in the console. So, I'll first create a new method. I'll name it create new to-do. And I'll decorate this with the post decorator which is again imported from nest.js common library and this method will uh, talk to my service so this dot a to do service and there should be a method that creates my new to do so create to do maybe and this method will accept a title and a description for the new to do so we expect to get this information from the requester or from the request body so the way we get the request body is using the body decorator in the parameter and we get any variable name so i'll name it data and i'll simply fetch or destruct destruct this data to get the title and description because i know the parameter names will be this title and description only if the names are different then you cannot use this destructuring method so once i get it i simply pass it to my method here so i need to create this new method i'll copy the name i can also do it from my ide it helps me do that but i can i will show you how you can create it manually so I'll go to the to do service. I'll create a, a new async method, create to do. This accepts a title of type string and a description of type string. I'm not requesting for any statuses because that the default status will be open for any new to do. Okay, and this uh, will talk to my repo to create the to do and this create method actually expects an entity so i'll create a new instance of my to do entity since it's a class i can use the new keyword here and then i can assign the properties like title to this title variable description to the description variable and the status since we have a, have an enum so we will use that enum to do dot open status dot open okay so the constant value is open here as you can see so once this is created i can pass it here but this is not all the to do gets created here but it's not saved or pushed to the database to do that you need to use the save method and this also expects an entity so i'll pass the same entity here I need to await this because this returns a promise here as you can see it returns a promise of entity so I'll await it and return it to my front end so I'll return this as well because this, this is calling the service method and this is returning here so this will save the entity and return it to the front end user okay so let's save the changes check our console we don't have any errors here which is good i'll go to my postman i have a new tab opened here this is my url the url doesn't change only the method type will be changed from get to post and in the body make sure you choose raw and the type as json and everything should be in quotes any string value should be in quotes so let's put here testing from postman and the description is a new to do okay so as soon as you hit send you get the new id and this got posted in your database okay, with the status of open description and title and let's see our database so i don't have it here let me refresh it there you go the fifth entry in this list okay this is how you use the repo to talk to your backend database and we will always use the repo to talk to the database we will never uh ma manipulate the, the database manually okay anything we want to do update delete create we will use the repo to do that all right so in the next video we will look at the concept of dtos that is data 
transferred objects and we will see how we can replace these parameters with DTOs and make our lives easier. So till then, please like, share and uh, subscribe to my channel, channel and uh, also don't forget to hit the bell icon. And uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section below. You will get the code to this part in the description of this video. Make sure you explore it. You write the code yourself and if you have any issues, do let me know. I'll see you in the next video. So till then, stay safe and bye-bye.